five rebels champ that's the ruling favorite shakes his head up and down rebels champ and away they go and the favorite rebels champ was slow out a length and a half ishnana and tribal fusion they the last three early on with ancient spirit goliath heron in the orange on the right hand side bounded out with speed captain demonami is right there and cumulus bouncing away on the left hand side celebration rock the pink cap we know he always likes to lug towards the inside eshnana the green headgear waywards in close proximity rebels champ just in a pocket two lengths off drunken sailor tribal fusion ancient spirit towards the outside rebels champ is all dressed up but got absolutely nowhere to go at the 400 eshnana celebration rock cumulus waywards on the inside goliath heron drunken sailor and now rebels champ's going to try and put it together two and a half lengths to make up it's none of the one to get to cumulus goliath heron drunken sailor rebels champ is now exploding through rebels champ to torpedo the lot of them drunken sailor cumulus and photos goliath heron every time i looked rebels champ was all dressed up for the victory but there were no gaps at that stage so the win 10 out of 10 warren kennedy rebels champ for the peter stable and this horse really rises to the occasion he wins at a long neck and had he got beat most unlucky but he got through and his class will tell rebels champ stretches out in devastating style he gets his eyes on the prize and that's it Cumulus might run second. Drunken Sailor came to the extreme outside. And then came Goliath Heron. Rebels champ waited to win. Well, he was already opened up the gap. There's three off the right-hand side. For about 150 meters, he was in a pocket. And Warren Kennedy, you see, he hadn't gone for the stick. He only goes for the stick late on. And then he starts to drift in. He changes the whip from left to right. And when they come past the post, I could see the jubilation as he punches to the crowd. And he says, thank you very much. We'll take this. So well done to all concerned. They've come to KZN and they take home the winning checks. Back to the studio. Well, uh, finally, some people will say finally. Well, it's been a long wait for his ninth career win, but uh, it's just been a joy to follow wherever uh, Paul races him because his style of racing just keeps you interested all the while. He's never going to be a horse that's going to be flashy out the gates. He's going to be patiently ridden. And on his day, when his mind's on racing, what a turn of foot he has, Paul. Yes, uh, it was overdue for this one. Uh, when Warren couldn't get a gap, I was happy because he's got such a short run in and uh, I knew he's going to turn it on. And it's a very, very special win because this was my late brother Jared's sprinter and he loved him and I hope he's looking down and enjoying it. And his son Joel, well done, and his wife Geraldine, well done for them and uh, really appreciate it. And a nice ride by Warren again. What a buy he was at 10,000 rand. He's earned well over 900 now, close to being the next equine millionaire in South Africa. Yes, he was a good buy. If we can buy, buy a few more like that, but uh, we mustn't get greedy. Very well done to the Harper Pain Syndicate and to all my staff, uh, Terence, the grooms, they really do a hard job. And uh, you've uh, made the trip down and it's a successful one, two out of three. Yeah, just in his game, you know, that full start, etc. One could say excuses. Yeah, she is an excitable filly, and uh, the second time round, she didn't jump that well. But uh, we can't be greedy. We're happy with the two wins, and uh, thank God for all of it. Well, we'll have a chat to Terence as well. He's expecting to be off of the groom, but you tell me he's going to represent uh, uh, Joel and the boys as yes, well. Yes, yes. Okay, well done to Paul Peter. What a win from the source, Warren. Uh, I'm going to give. Uh, the ride of the day to uh, Luke. You wouldn't mind uh, over that 2400 meter, but uh, it's already done and dusted now. But this horse was certainly uh, at his best today. Yeah, geez, you know, the race didn't go that according to plan. You know, he, he just was a lot better in the field. So when he wanted to get moving, they weren't quick enough for him. And I was traveling quite well behind him. And, you know, you've got to sit in him for as long as you can because he's got a short run. And he was climbing over them and they swamped him. 
and eventually when I couldn't hold him anymore, I said, right, we've got to go now, boy. And I let him go and he quickened to the line. So it was a, a great win for him. It was deserved from by, by this horse. You know, he, no horse I think in the country deserves it more than him. He's, he's banged his head against the best and he's been competitive and he deserves his ninth, ninth career win. And well done to Harper Pent, well done to Mr. Peter. You know, came down the right race. He loves this course, this horse. Seems to do really well, yeah. And I'm just ecstatic that he, he's been able to pull it off for everyone. Monkey off your back as well. It's the first time you've won on him. Yeah, yeah. I was getting worried. Maybe he doesn't gel with me. But <laughs> but he's been, you know, he's been running such good races off late with me, and I've gotten to know him really well. And you know, he just did everything right today with me. You know, like I said, halfway through the race, he's just going better than the field. And I had to just wait on him. He's not always that you can allow to slip because when he sees daylight, he goes. And uh, he's got a short running, so he would have he would have burnt out a, and and been floundering the last bit. But um, especially being a six. But now I think that is his sort of trip. Eleven sixty at Turfentino or, or six furlong. He he seems to be doing well. Back against the the stronger, the quicker, he'll set a lot easier and he'll be finishing well. So he won't stop here. This was his his game. The stable loves him. So I'm very happy to bring it home for everyone. I'm going to tell you a lovely story. Watching the race, a few of the punters, one of them took his ticket and he was running to the dustbin. He was throwing it in when you were behind. And I said, hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on to that ticket. Yeah, no patience. These, you know, <laughs> this, this course has got that climb from the 250. So I couldn't let him go too early because that climb would also find him out. So I had to be patient and wait and, and hopefully the splits opened for me. But that didn't and I had to make my own way. And uh, look, 300 out, probably tearing his ticket up. But, you know, 200 out, this horse is ready in the firing line and, and, and going for the win. So, you know, it changed that quickly for him. That's how his turn of foot is. He can really turn it on. So, yeah, just very happy. Well done to everyone. The stable, like I said, they love him. And he's got a sentimental value to everyone. So I'm extremely happy to finally got the monkey on my back with him. Well done. Thank you very much. He's just well done to winning form as well. And I'm on 80%. Just Lovely. 80%. On, on the button. Terrence, come through. He's going to represent on behalf of the groom. But... Paul instructed me, he said, have a word to Terence, he's my right-hand man. Well done, a good trip to Hollywood Bed, Scottsville. Yeah, we've got to thank God, you know, for what has happened. Um, there's no guarantees in everything that we do. It's competition. But the main thing, first of all, I just want to say it's great communication coordination with the team. Paul, Tony, Martin, it's a very big yard. And most of all, I just want to say thank you to Gold Circle. Um, the 1,000 Rand incentive, is a, we appreciate it in a big way. And um, obviously, I would love to come here more often. <laughs> yeah, and uh, to yourself and all your boys, uh, it's uh, Bri, Bri and Bri Fleece. Yeah, well, we've got to watch the work. It carries on, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Terence, nice chatting to you and all the best with the team. you certainly part of a winning outfit these days and uh, long may it continue. Thank you very much. Lovely. Terence receiving the 1,000 Rand on behalf of the grooms and uh, he's getting it from Lindo. Okay, that is the wrap of race number Seven, uh, five, three, uh, ten, and nine is the way they cross the line. One more to go, closing off the place accumulates and pick six up next. Race eight.